Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. All of a sudden, footies is starting to look like the footies of old once again. We've got a lot of objectives and SPCs that we're excited about, cards that are easy to attain, and prices of the footies cards and packs are actually not that crazy. We're excited about footies again because of all the content that dropped yesterday. I want to go over it in today's video and look ahead into today on Saturday. Will that hype continue? And there's one crazy leak that really we have not a true answer to. Is it an SPC? Is it a card in packs? We'll talk about that a little bit today as well. If you're excited for footies, once again, drop a thumbs up on the video and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, there's a lot to go over from yesterday's content. I don't want to bore you guys with it. We're going to go through it pretty fast, but we have to start with probably the biggest W of content yesterday. It's inside of the Objectives tab, and I'm not talking about Rodri, but this is a nice objective card. A footies Rodri. It's not a premium, but such a nice card. Club 90. Very easy to get done, of course. A little bit of XP in here as well. I know he he just had the um, SBC card man of the match for the Champions League performance for City winning and him scoring the goal. Um, but I mean, this card is a nice upgrade over that one, and this one is really easy to get done. So you could say, uh, EA, bring out new players, but for me, this one's an absolute W. That is a really nice card to grind and get done. Good links, Manchester City links, and honestly, a free center defensive mid with all 90 stats is pretty crazy that just smells like footies so gg to ea on that one now this is the big w right here the weekend league bonus rewards this is what a lot of people including myself are so excited about it's not just play weekend league and get better rewards it's play weekend league throughout the entire month and collect some absolutely nuts cards and get it 85 times 10 along the way as well and it's in every single five game increments of weekend league finals that you get these cards starting off a lot of you guys maybe already have this card already we get ted tajan buchanan five star skills four star weak foot he's kind of like a fifa legend this year with his uh whatever it was like a moments card or objectives card earlier on in the year that was really really fast and was a very good super sub for a lot of people he's got an insane footies card that can play center mid honestly looks like a crazy midfield card and then after that you got 85 times 10 you've got a Luis Muriel card in here that looks really, really cracked. Five star, five star. <clears throat> with incredible statistics. You've got another 85 times 10, and this is where it gets good. Win 25, you get Mkhitaryan, who's 5'5". Five five. Win 35, and you get the Konate center back card, which is kind of like the Varane replacement, if you will. Uh, we saw this right away yesterday, and we are like, wow, this guy has 95 pace, and he is lengthy with 99 strength and aggression absolutely nuts card this is going to be a center back that basically everybody is using once they're able to get these 35 wins completed now i know not everybody can play weekend league i know not everybody can get 35 wins within the five weekend league span that is out there but for a lot of people this is an absolutely insane dub and it's just kind of like giving you an extra reason to play weekend league right of course there's a lot of new cards out that are released with the footies cards and stuff in packs spc's objective so there's a little bit of an extra desire to grind for some people but i also know it's the, it's the summer, right? And you don't want something to take too much time. So, I mean, if you're playing weekend league every weekend, you get 9 to 11 wins for the next five weekends, which that objective will be out for. You will very easily be able to get that done and still kind of enjoy the grind in the process as well um, with weekend league usually being what we grind the most uh, during a single week of FIFA, right? So, for that objective, an absolutely insane W. And I just love how there's players in there as well. Like, it's not just you're playing to get packs and fodder. You get these great players along the way. The Muriel and the Mkhitaryan, the Buchanan, and of course the Konate are really, really great cards for it free for basically playing your normal weekend league game. So absolute W there. We do not have a cup yet. Maybe that's going to be a later edition this weekend. We will have to see. Now, going into SBCs, it gets pretty good in here as well. First of all, we had Rodrigo. Now, he's not a premium card, but he's five star, five star. Guys, this card, it looks a bit expensive. I understand. There's a lot of people right now that are looking at this and saying, Nate, I can't do this SBC. It's just too expensive. This is what I would tell you. Yes, this is an expensive SBC. It is out for 27 more days, and this is going to be one of the most meta cards in the game 100%. Remember the Rodrigo showdown card from last year? He was so insane. This one has 88 shot power, which means he can do the really good Trivellas. He's got the outside the foot shot trait, flare passes, flare, technical dribbler with maxed out agility balance, um, good stamina, good jumping. Like This is a really, really awesome card. And yeah, it is a bit expensive. It's, as, it's coming in at 900,000 coins, but it is craftable. It's only five squads. 
and you get a, a couple decent packs back. Uh, and really, this card did not start at 900k. It really started lower than that, and then fodder kept going up, which is making this card a bit more expensive. Now, that one's a little bit expensive, but it is a very, very meta card, and you're going to see that guy in Weekend League a lot in the coming future. Get ready to see that. But also, who you're going to see is this absolute insane W of Roberto Carlos. GG's EA, all right? We were looking forward to these cover star icons. We were looking forward to this card design, and they knocked it out of the park with this Roberto Carlos Club 90 five-star, five-star. I played against this guy yesterday in a Foot Champs qualifier game. The guy I was playing with had him in the midfield. He tore me apart. This card is unbelievable. Yes, he's a little bit short, but you can literally use him anywhere you want to on the pitch, specifically midfielder and defense. And the SBC, 96% upvoted. That's crazy that that's that high of an upvote on a player SBC. 790,000 coins to do. Again, not the cheapest SBC, but with this stage, uh, at this stage with all the fodder that is in packs and the special cards, it can be done. Not too difficultly, right? I think this is a good SBC to set your sights on if you want to craft something that you could use for a while. It's, of course, got the Brazilian links, a lot of Brazilian links yesterday with Rodrigo and Alberto Carlos. So a massive W on the player SBC department there. I'm excited to see where EA take um, with these uh, cover star icons. Hopefully there's some more of them. Um, now, of course, if you haven't done the SBC yet and you're thinking about it, just go ahead and uh, use that loan version. We all got free packs yesterday. If you logged in the store, there was a free 85 times 10. That pack that we looked at and saw in the code yesterday, uh, this one, right? That was the one that they gave out, the Roberto Carlos Cover Star Icon Loan Pack. They gave it to everybody, and that was an insane pack yesterday that also added to the hype of Footy's team number two. Just tried out that loan card that everybody received yesterday, maybe before doing the SBC, and then you you can decide if you want to do it. Now, for the cheaper SBC option, I like how EA also threw in something that was a little bit more budget friendly. And it's a fun SBC that we can all do throughout this next week. One of three team of the season, tots moments, shapeshifter or premium shapeshifter player pick. And it's just a nice, cheap kind of rinse and repeat. If you want to take a risk at trying to pack a tots or shapeshifter card of decent to high value, 85 rated squad, throw in a team of the week or team of the season, and boom, you got it done. 66,000 coins, and a majority of that SBC price is the team of the week card. Guys, TOTS and team of the, team of the seasons and team of the weeks were required in all those SBCs that were dropped yesterday. They are up in value, even with the daily TOTS SBC refreshing three times. Team of the seasons are up 5,000 coins a card, but the real big risers are team of the weeks. Guys, team of the week cards are about 24, 25K. All of these were like 17 to 18K yesterday. Even the really low rated ones are up in price once again because EA released so many SBCs yesterday and there was so much hype and demand to get those SBCs done. Fodder, especially on the lower tier, is moving mad. Now let's talk about fodder just a little bit more. Prices went up on a lot of cards yesterday at content, but some of them are actually coming back down a little bit now. I mean, some of the gold cards yesterday, Sun was about 18, 19K. He went all the way to 22K, and now he's back down at 19,000 coins. I mean, I'm looking at 85s right now that are five and a half thousand coins. Pretty sure these were close to seven yesterday. They definitely, 7,700 Gundawan was, and right now he's 5,900. Might not be a bad idea to go in and club stock a few of these cards. 84 to 86 rated is where I would say the sweet spot might be. Coman was 75, 8,000 coins, a little bit under that for a majority of the day, bounced up to 9K and is back down in that 7K range. Again, you've got 87s that are inflated right now because of the 84 times 10 that refreshes every day. So I'm looking at the 84 to the 86 rated part of the market and then maybe some of your higher rated cards. Um, man, I mean, Ronaldo, 28K, Van Dyke, 27K. How much were these yesterday during the peak of the daytime? 27 for VVD. Did he go up with Roberto Carlos? He was 27K from 23. So these guys are up and they're still pretty inflated. But watch your fodder, guys, because usually this is the time of the week where we do invest. But if I am going to invest, I'm going to shout the 84s to the 86s right now. That's where I would be looking at this time to maybe stock my club a little bit. I mean, Telemans was 4.2K, and here we are in the low 3K range. 84s look good. 85s, 86s look good as well if you want to stock something in there. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is an SBC-based promo, so we know that prices are going to keep going up on fodder. 
It just all comes down to how good do the SBCs continue to be throughout this weekend and throughout the rest of the week. So we'll keep looking at that and talking about that. Now, before we look at the cards and packs really quick, we're going to rip open one of these player picks because I had some fodder. I rinsed it in and we get fodder. All right, all right, GG. So we turn in some 83s and 84s and a random team of the week for a gear Chuita, and that's going to end up going into a different SBC. Now, really quickly, before we talk about players and packs, we'll talk about the packs that are supplying those in packs. We had some interesting store packs yesterday. Um, the Sweeping Stars pack is out. There's two different 400k packs, the Super Premium and the Sweeping Stars. Now, I opened one of these, and I opened one of these Super Jumbo packs, and man, I got shafted, all right? I'm telling you, the percentage here said, what was it, like 14 or 15 percent? No, it's this one. 14 or 15% of a footies. And I uh, did not pack one yesterday. Besides Forlan and my free pack from EA, man, I feel like I got kind of shafted from those. But, um, you know, I did try to spend some coins there. I kind of went out and said, hey, this Messi is in packs. And the pack weight, as we're going to talk about, the pack weight for these footies cards looks way better than last week i'm glad that ea made this fix on the fly guys i don't know if you realize this or not but a lot of times ea realizes when the pack weight's not good enough they can they can kind of tinker with that on the fly and make adjustments um and and they did i mean good job to ea because they adjusted this pack weight for team two much better than team one and that is why i think team two is so much better and it's also aiding in so much of the hype right now on these menus and on this game Messi's 13 mil, whereas Ronaldo was extinct the last entire week at 15 million coins, and it comes down to the pack weight, and it's not just Messi. I mean, last week, this Yaga Torre in packs, he would still be probably 10 million coins, but with the weight in packs, it seems like these guys are way more packable. He's 3.7 mil, and that's actually up. He was like 3.4 mil. He just kind of had a spike there. Cassie is a great card, 700,000 coins for him. He just went up 50k. He was under 700. These guys are still pretty rare, but they are, I mean, man, so much good value in here. Cassie being 700k, Doomfreeze being 190, 200,000 coins. That's an insane card. Insigne might be the craziest dribbler on this game. Five foot four with 97 dribbling uh, and a premium card with five star, five star. That's going to be a card you're going to want to try out. Griezmann, Royce, Forlan. I packed him. He was uh, a really nice card to go and try out. This team in packs, man, is a big dub. And again, it all comes down to me, in my mind, it all comes down to these cards being pretty packable, still rare, but so much more packable than, than last week's team. And it makes you feel like you have a chance at actually packing one of these footies cards, which is going to be big for this next upcoming week of upgrade packs and all that sort of stuff. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit because uh, these cards right now, as you as we just saw, Cassie is going up. Uh, Griezmann is actually going up as well. I think Royce is maybe starting to rise a little bit himself. These cards are probably going to rise today into uh, Saturday as people play weekend league. There's demand. There's ooh, 740. I'll take that. I will take that for Royce. All right, we're involved. That's a nice undercut there. And that's the lowest that I've seen him. So I would keep an eye on these cards today heading into Saturday. There's going to be some spikes. And then they're probably going to drop back down later on into the day, I would imagine. Um, just kind of like normal promo cards do. Guys, these will probably act a lot more like normal promo cards just because uh, they're actually getting supplied a lot more. All the cards last week were just super crazy rare and they like didn't move at all in price. These ones are, I think, going to actually move like normal. So I would see probably some rises today into Saturday, but then also some drops later on in the day. And these guys will probably continue to drop just a little bit overall throughout the weekend. But let's talk about level up team two prices because that was one area of the market we were very interested in yesterday. These guys are all over the place. I mean, a lot of them were very, very low and some of them have bounced back. Others are still pretty low. Chameni yesterday, as a lot of these cards were sold off before the objectives expired, was 230k. He went all the way back up to about 320,000 coins, where he is now. The Rodrigo link uh, in the game really helped him out too. I bought a bunch of Martinelli's yesterday. I bought a bunch of them at, right here at 250, and I sold most of them right in here between 350. I sold some at 300k, but most of them between 330 and 340. And uh, that was a really good trade for me there. Goretzka is up. He was like 350K. Rafael Varane is an interesting one. He is super duper rare. And he's finally starting to go back up in price. He dropped off a ton, right? But he just kind of stayed around 1.4 mil. And now he's kind of coming back up to about 1.5. I think he's going to end up getting rare over the weekend just because 
that is still one of the best center backs in this game. And you can't get that Konate card yet. Konate you cannot get because he will only be um, able to be acclaimed next weekend after those rewards. If you go 20-0 and 0 or 17 wins and 18 wins in the, in the next two weekends. So you don't have to worry about that card yet, uh, but that's one that I would keep my eye on there. And the rest of them are maybe up a little bit or around the same price. But, you know, it's the rare cards that we're the most interested in with those, and they're still moving a good bit on the market. So the one thing I'll mention is as we get more and more of these footies cards that are released at SBCs and objectives like we had just be careful with the meta market because this is the footies content of old that we know and this is what we look back on in previous years and say oh man footies always destroys the market guys be careful prices are going to drop this that and the other and really the reason why those prices drop all the time is because the footies content is just that good and, and people are selling cards and inserting cards into SBCs and rinsing their clubs to get all these brand new footies items and we're at a point now where the footies cards are coming out like there's so many more footies cards right now than there were last week with the objective ones the SBCs that we got having two yesterday so just be careful with your shapeshifters your level ups and your team of the seasons in general because this is probably the beginning of okay those cards are going to start to really decline in value even after last week they went up because the content last week was just not very good now speaking of content guys this is where it gets interesting, okay? We're going to have to pull out our tinfoil hat theories. We're going to have to discuss Neymar was leaked. We all thought Neymar was going to be in PAX yesterday because Sheriff tweeted this an hour and a half before the content drop. He said, Neymar is coming to footy soon. W choice question mark. And we were all like, oh, Neymar is going to be in PAX. He's going to be extinct at 15 mil like Ronaldo was. And there's no Neymar in this game right now. Now, the question is, is this still a true leak or... Did Sheriff just have one of his most legendary mistakes of all time and leak a Neymar card that he incorrectly, um, I maybe assumed it was Neymar and it's actually Rodrigo because we had the Rodrigo SBC and they're both Brazilian. Now that's a bit of a stretch and we don't know, um, but that's kind of one thing, that, well, a theory that I have in my mind. Or is Neymar actually coming as a player in PAX or an SBC still. I would have to imagine that this is going to be a player that would be in PAX, guys, right? I mean, you think about Messi in the Team 2, Ronaldo in the Team 1. Maybe Neymar is somehow going to be in Team 3. But if he's in Team 3, why was he leaked and why did Sheriff post this yesterday, right? That's the one that's a bit weird to me. So I don't know. This is kind of giving me like Neymar flashback. Remember when Neymar got the flashback SBC back in, uh, was that last year or two FIFAs ago? Uh, he had that SBC and it was like waiting for it to come out because Sheriff leaked it and we're like, oh, it's going to be now and it's going to be then. And it like, it took a while for it to drop and it just completely changed the market when that flashback Neymar dropped. If we actually get a 98, 99 rated footies Neymar SBC, which we had one last year, by the way, we had a 98 rated Neymar, but it was in like the middle towards the end of August. So even further into footies than we are now. If that sort of SBC would come out, that would be market crippling. Even if the Neymar SBC that were to come out would be like a 3 million coin SBC, it would just, people would send clubs for that kind of card at this end game stage of the game. It would be insane. So I don't want to read into this too much because honestly, we don't know. I hope, I hope Sheriff tweets about it. I hope he clears it up because as of right now, we're just kind of left with the theories. We don't really know, but it seems like this would be a card that is in packs based off the way EA is running footies this year. It's just interesting that he tweeted that yesterday and there's no Neymar yet in the game. Now, other content to expect today, um, you know, upgrade packs, right? Actually, the last few Saturdays have been icon upgrade days, but this Saturday, today, the 90 plus player pick is not expiring. So that's got me kind of scratching the head going, what are we getting today? What's our content going to be? And maybe it's a quiet Saturday after we had a really big content Friday yesterday, but I could maybe see the slight percentage chance that EA actually release a 92 plus SBC either today. This could be tomorrow. It could be today as well. Um, because also tomorrow on Sunday, we have the refresh of the 93 plus shapeshifters player pick. So this SBC resets on Sunday, but then so does this one or this one goes away on Sunday. I don't know if EA would want to have an icon pack and this 93 plus shapeshifters both refreshing on Sunday. Maybe they do. Maybe there is an error on one of these and there's going to be some overlap today. I feel like there's going to be some sort of SBC content. The safest thing to probably assume for today is there's probably going to be another footies 
SBC player today. I mean, whether it's a hero, whether it's a regular or a premium item. Last Saturday, we had the Cahill SBC. Um, so watch out for that. And then probably some store packs as well would be very, very possible for content today on this game. Uh, there's still some more packs that have been in the code that we have not actually seen yet. Uh, the Paramount pack, I don't think that was one of the ones that we saw in the store yet. 150 rare golds, three of which are 89 or above. And well, more importantly, the 87 times 10 footies re-release batch one. Uh, I don't know if the, I think that would be in the store. That'd be a really crazy pack to put anywhere else. Is the Paramount pack in the store? No, the Paramount pack is not in the store. We've had the Sweeping Stars pack, though. So maybe watch out for a Paramount pack today. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, uh, again, just a roundup. I, let me know down in the comments. I want you guys to tell me how you're feeling now. I know some of you guys are like, Nate, nah, I don't want to grind this much for footies at this stage of the game. I get that. But I just think that what EA has done here has made a lot of people say, okay, this is something I can I can wrap my mind around. This is something that I want to get involved in. The pack weight seems better. The rewards are better with the monthly stuff in there. And, you know, it just, we have better SBCs and better stats on the cards that are being dropped as well. Like the Roberto Carlos uh, is an absolutely insane card. So let me know down in the comments how you're feeling about this. But for me, and for what I've heard from a lot of you guys in the stream and stuff like that, this really brings the hype back and it kind of makes me want to grind the game a bit more just to see what I can potentially pack, what I can get, and all the players that we get to try out in this end game stage, which more and truly feels like the end game now than it did last week. So let me know around in the comments what you think about that. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. We'll catch you guys there. Peace.